Did you know that checking your blood pressure on the wrong arm could give you inaccurate readings? A common question people ask is, which arm should you use? Some say the left, others insist on the right. But what's the real answer? Well, it's not that simple. Neither is entirely correct. How you prepare for the test, the position of your arm, and other factors can impact your blood pressure reading by 10% or more. That could mean ending up on medication you don't actually need or your doctor making the wrong adjustments to your treatment. In this video, you'll find out exactly which arm to use when measuring your blood pressure. Let's get started. Here are some tips based on national and international guidelines for measuring blood pressure, including the best position for an accurate reading and which arm to use. If you're a new patient, the first step is to measure your blood pressure in both arms, one after the other. A slight difference between readings is normal. Up to 5 millimeters of mercury usually isn't a concern. But if the difference is more than 10 millimeters of mercury, it could be a sign of a more serious issue, which we'll explain later. Once you've checked both arms, always use the one with the higher reading for future measurements. Doctors also rely on the higher reading to guide any treatments. If you're a returning patient, your doctor or nurse should already know which arm to use. This method is backed by the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association. Cardiologists recommend this approach too, yet most doctors' offices don't follow it, which is surprising and unfortunate. Now back to the question. What happens if the difference is more than 10 millimeters of mercury? If your blood pressure differs by more than 10 millimeters of mercury between arms, it could indicate a blockage or reduced blood flow in an artery. In younger individuals, this is often caused by a muscle or another structure compressing an artery that supplies the arm, or by a structural issue that disrupts blood flow. In older individuals, it's usually due to a blockage from atherosclerosis, the artery-clogging disease behind most heart attacks, strokes, peripheral artery disease, and other cardiovascular conditions. A less common cause is an aortic dissection, a serious condition where a tear forms inside the wall of the aorta, the main artery that carries oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body. That's why monitoring your blood pressure at home is more important than ever. So, how do you take your blood pressure the right way? Getting an accurate blood pressure reading is crucial, and small mistakes can lead to misleading results. To ensure accuracy, follow these key steps. First, Avoid caffeine or smoking for at least 30 minutes before measuring, as both can temporarily raise your blood pressure. Next, sit quietly for five minutes before measuring. Avoid any rushing or last minute activity, as this can affect your reading. Make sure you're using the right cuff size. It should cover at least 80% of your upper arm and be placed directly on bare skin, not over clothing. Remain still and quiet while measuring, Talking or moving can lead to inaccurate readings. Take two readings with a short break in between. If the numbers differ by five points or more, take a third reading for accuracy. Following these simple steps can help you get the most accurate blood pressure reading possible. Doctors typically confirm high blood pressure with measurements taken on at least two separate visits or by having you track your readings at home with a blood pressure monitor. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Blood Pressure Healthcare for more expert tips on managing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.